Bonjour, amigos. I made a video last night. I ran out of batteries. Um, a little update on some of the documents and things that are going on. And an interesting note. Uh, I have a slight fever and I uh, developed a little bit of a cough this morning, but nothing big. Uh, I don't like it though. <laughs> My neighbor and the next block who I called last night also broke out in hives last week. She thought it was her vitamins. So I'm finding this quite interesting because they're not gone yet and they're not regular hives. Then I have a little fever. But I'm going to be fine. I'm taking my L-Lysine like I get my cat. And I have a lot of other medicines stored. Now what we're talking about today is I was listening to all these news reports saying uh, no one in the U.S. died because they were using Tamiflu. And uh, I'm wondering if that might be planned for the second wave is, oh look, if you take the Tamiflu, you'll be okay. That's, that's got to be good. But as I said in my other video a while back, bird flu scare, scientists in Britain were angry because of 14 million doses of the drug Tamiflu were delivered, and the Royal Society and the Academy of Medical Sciences said the government should be buying similar other drugs as well. They had reports which suggested that Tamiflu was not effective. They also said that decisions were being made without uh, taking account expert advice. They wanted to know more about it and they couldn't get access to more information about Tamiflu. This is just uh, something that concerns me if we are being pushed to use this item. In this other document, I have to bring you over here. In this other document that I shared with you before, the Department of Defense Implementation Plan for Pandemic Influenza, you type up here Tamiflu. This is a PDF document so you can search it. Here it is, Com Combatant Command Logistics place their orders for Tamiflu. And then at the end, this is the most important part of this document I did not get to tell you about. Annex F, the references the references for this document. If you will look at the documents they refer to here, they have documents from every organization in the government, the CDC, the World Health Organization. They have the presidential directives on here. Like Alex was talking about presidential directives, they're in here. Here's directives. Military assistance to civil authorities, use of investigational drugs, emergency health powers on military installations, emergency health powers outside of military installations, national defense strategies, pandemic influenza plan from Health and Human Services. All these documents are referenced in the back of this one document. And you can go to Google and look up all these documents and you get interesting stuff like this pandemic influenza implementation plan. I found this in the back of there. This one is also from 2006 from Department of Health and Human Services, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Another 273 page document. Look at this one, National Strategy for Pandemic Influenza Implementation Plan. These are all referenced in the back of that DOD document, Department of Defense. This one is also from May of 2006. We have a lot of items 